And this was a question from Dan Bauer on YouTube. And he says, what exactly is stranded energy? Just the energy in forms typically left untapped, i.e. volcanoes. So this is kind of what you have to think about in terms of stranded energy. This is what I would say on it. Think about how our world works right now in terms of how we get our power, how we get electricity. It comes from somewhere, right? If, you, if you're in Canada or the U.S., there's power lines that run, and, and that's where your energy comes from. It's coming from a power source, but it, it has to travel to your house. And it's not cheap to do that. And energy and electricity only travel so far, right? So historically, based on that premise that you have to, you know, use these resources to produce power and then get that power to other places in order to earn a return on that. So if you're thinking about somewhere like Costa Rica, where there's a waterfall or in El Salvador, where there's a volcano, there's a whole bunch of these natural resources around the world that you can tap into for energy. But the problem in the past is that we had no way of getting that energy to any communities because it's, it's stranded. It's out there where nobody's living. And so now with Bitcoin, because if let, let's use the waterfall as an example, you use the waterfall to produce energy. You convert that into electricity and that requires infrastructure. You need electricity that you can transfer and sell. That's how you make a return on the investment that you put into setting up that infrastructure. And infrastructure requires capital and people. So you build that, that you build that infrastructure. You have to wait for the community to show up that you're providing power to. Otherwise, you have to send that electricity even further, which costs more, and a lot of it's wasted. So you have to eat that initial upfront cost of the infrastructure and then just wait for communities to be built around that. And sometimes it never happens. Sometimes, you know, you have to have the people there to run the operation, and then you have a few families there. But if that never amounts to anything, then it's all for nothing. But with Bitcoin, it flips that on its head. You can use a natural resource like a waterfall. You convert that energy directly right there on site into Bitcoin, set up a, a mining machine right there on site. It doesn't have to travel anywhere. And then you can convert that into money, directly into money. You don't have to sell that to anybody. You can convert that energy right into money on the spot. And so from there, you pay off your infrastructure much faster. You can build instead of wait for people to build it. You can build it if you want to, or you can just leave it there. But right now there are people, there's resources all around the world that are completely unused just for the simple fact that that energy has to transfer out to where people are. But now with Bitcoin mining, you don't need that anymore. It is the only asset that I'm aware of that you can convert natural resources, energy from that directly into money. And not only money, but the greatest money that we've ever known. So that's my thoughts on that. Very interesting. And I think that that's a very underappreciated aspect of Bitcoin, how it's going to change energy, how it's going to find the cheapest source of energy across the world. And it doesn't matter who's around it. Pretty cool.